Welcome to our next tutorial of Quick Surface. In this tutorial we are going to discuss how to make a 2D sketching in a more efficient way. As you can see on the screen, this is a part that it's created with a revolved surface. How can I demonstrate this? If I just pick the, um, my section plane, I can create a revolved surface here and I can pick a profile. The problem is if you want to make accurate reverse engineering, you want to get more information. So for this reason, you can probably get a stacked section so we can extract and get a better representation of the profile. But as we can see here, because it sections through everything, it just actually takes um, data that we, it's not needed. So I will cancel this for now. And what I can do as a strategy, get rid of the data that are not needed, that are not for my main profile. So let's go and make a mesh selection. I will use my brush tool. We'll make sure that the select tool is not turned off on and I will just paint this, right click and hide select it. I will just uh, take this brush and remove this from my current view so I don't use them. Also here, I will probably just need to get rid of this. For this purpose, I will just make selection through enable to get everything which is under my brushing and will hide select. Of course it took away a lot more but I don't really uh, care about this because I have enough information for me to generate this profile. Also I will not need this. In this case I will just use my brush tool with the select through option off. Right click and hide select it. I will brush here brush here and then I can just right click and hide select. So I'm now ready to move forward to get a more accurate representation of my profile. Again I'll go for revolved surface but this time I'll uh, enable the stack option so I can get much more information by using multiple cross sections. You can play with this number, but for me this is good enough to represent average of my project. Once we're here, we can draw our primitives and define dimensions, but we will show you something that it's um, more efficient to extract the primitives in, in a more accurate way. And this is what we call it a fit primitives option here. The way it works, you can just hold your left mouse button and you can just paint on the screen and mark some areas. In this example, I just painted over this vertical line and the software suggests for me uh, which uh, button to click on so I can define my line in this example. And as you see, the software created my best fit of this line. I can probably just paint this and tell the software that this is a circle here which created a circle, but that is not the case. You can always undo this operation. So this is how you actually do your extraction. But there is also a convenient way that you can enable instant fit. The way instant fit works is that you have a current mode, which is what is going to happen when you lift your mouse button up. And in this case, I can just brush over this section. When I leave my left mouse button, it's automatically fit a line. You can always access this option through your context menu. Just right click and you can see the same functionality which is available in the dialog. So I will continue now and just brush here and extract these new lines. So this is the simple way to extract your primitives. But we also offer here what is called auto fillet option. The main idea here is when you look at this profile, you have you don't need to think about these areas as an arcs, but it's more about fillet. What is the difference is that we need to create an arc here, but it needs to be connected to these two points and at the same time to keep the tangency. So for this reason we created this auto fillet option that if you enable, it's automatically will analyze the closest neighbors, will get the pair, the corner points, and will create a, automatically a fillet for you. So you can always just enable and disable this option and you see what your result will be. 
I can continue now to just fit my lines here and as you see if this option auto fill is enabled it automatically connects this with the um, underlying fillet. So let's continue and finish our profile. I will just create a line here and you see that the software connects. You can also just uh, brush here and get this done for you. I will just go through this and we'll create this um, filleting here. As you can see, only with the brush of a button you automatically get your results. You can always modify this when you go back to your main sketch mode, but this is a quick way for you to just recreate your sketch without too much hassle and create these um, profiles that, that are needed. For example, here I can create a line. As you see, it's because they are almost parallel, it still managed to intersect them. So that's why I can continue brush here and you see it created my profile. Here I can probably improve. I can just provide my next line. These two lines, they don't intersect, so that's why it doesn't connect them. But if I just define a line here, you see how nicely it created this profile for me. There is a one option here which is called minimum radius. The main idea is that in some areas where there are corners, you want to keep them sharp. So you can just put this, for example, to one millimeter and the software automatically re rebuilds everything and reconnect them. As you see here, it didn't manage to create a proper um, um, fillet, or the fillet is less than one millimeter, so that's why it connected them, but it made them uh, a round corner. In this case, I can just leave the software to make everything um, fillet, and this is what you get as a result. So this is a just a um, nice and efficient way quickly for you to reconstruct the profile you which you can always go back and in this mode you can just uh, modify this and you can just delete your areas you can just connect them and um, make them sharp corners why i show this is that um, this wizard style just helps you to to reconstruct this features but it doesn't stop you after that to continue modifying them until you achieve your desired results. For example here I can just improve my fillet, I can create dimensions, I can just uh, give values to these uh, fillets until I get what I want as a profile. I hope this video is interesting. Thank you for watching.